Sandra is the reason why I'm here. We go yeah. way back. I mean, yes. you competed in Europe and, and Russia and Ukraine yep. and all over the world. I competed professionally and she's the top. Yep. So I was always following her. Dancing is huge in Japan, in China, in yeah, Philippines, sure, yeah. in Russia. Like, you take any country in the world and dancing is very prominent. In the States, dancing became prominent on the competitive level only in the last 20 to 30 years. But now, because of shows like Dancing with the Stars, everyone in the country knows where Chachi and Fox is and may have their favorite dances and I think in a way indirectly promoted the art and the sport of dancing so people started looking for local dance studios and coming out and say oh I want to learn what they did on the show because if those celebs can do it in 10 weeks you have a gorgeous studio in your backyard you can do it a lot longer and you can enjoy it a lot more it is a very highly athletic sport it's not just looking so pretty. I mean, we make it look pretty and easy and with the gowns and the hair and the makeup, yeah. but underneath that, you have deep sweating. I would call it a sport. Oh, absolutely. Look at our figures. <laughs> we like burgers. We eat I cookies. just ate burgers last we night. We just had right. chocolate chip cookies, and look, we keep it. Because yeah, this right here. It's all day long, yeah. And it's a great workout for your mind, for your heart, for your body, for your memory. Dancing is the fountain of youth.